Here we have the Binion Blocks, uh, a pack of three, uh, uh, let's call them Lego compatible figures. Uh, here's the packaging for the Binion Blocks that they come in, it's very nice. Uh, now on the back we've got all three different sets of Binion Blocks dudes. We've got some uh, big hat action there. Moderate hat action there, no hat action in the third set, which is the one that I got. They were seven ninety nine at Gold's World of Judaica in Balaclava. They're not on the Gold's website. I'll have to um, ask them about that. But uh, we've got, I'll just take you a little view of each of them. So we've got this guy here. He's an uh, observant Jewish chap. He's got his uh, hat on and he's got the payos. He's got the four locks there. Wearing a nice jacket. Vest type thing. This guy, he, he's a bit more, uh, he's a bit more hipster. He, he's wearing a tie, so is the other guy, but he's got his check thing there. And again, we have the, we have the kipper and the payos. Then we have a lovely, this is my favourite, this is the, uh, Modestly dressed uh, woman. She's got a nice little bow on the waist there. The hair is great. That's some of the best Lego hair or, or, or you know, little toy hair I've ever had. She's pretty happy. Uh, the hat, the heads do come off them, uh, leaving leaving an empty thing there. And we can take the hair off uh, one of the chaps. And it will let us make a, uh, uh, I, I don't know if you want to call that a trans Jewish person or a costume Jewish person or whatever, let you make that as well. So that's cool. This is my really short video on Binion Blocks. Have a good day, guys.